Welcome back. I am joined as always by Greg Engert, beer director for the Neighborhood Restaurant Group of Food and Wine Sommelier of the Year. The group includes where we are, Church Key. Downstairs is Birch and Barley. Greg, it is always good to see you. See you too, bud. Congratulations on a recent event known as Getting Married. Thank you very, very much. Nicely done. That was a hell of a party. <laughs> it was a good party. And uh, happy birthday this week. I know, thank you. Uh, what is on tap this week? So this week we have a kind of a, a holdover from the warmer months, but it's still appropriate uh, seeing as uh, it's uh, still pretty nice here yeah. in, in Washington. Um, this is perennial um, from St. Louis, Missouri, perennial artists and ales. Uh, this is a, a Berliner Weiss that they call Pineapple Kumquat Berliner. Uh, and it is exactly what the name says. It is a light, crisp, refreshing, tart uh, wheat beer, 4.2% uh, alcohol. That's been finished with a blend of pineapple and uh, kumquats. Looks delicious. Mm. It's got a nice tang to it. Not too, not, not, not it, up in your face, but real yeah, nice. A delicate tartness, like what a Berliner Weiss um, should be. And there's a little bit more complexity, I think, to the acidity because, you know, when we, when we make Berliner Weiss, we're adding lactobacillus, which is the bacteria that'll um, begin the sour, to sour um, the, the wort. Uh, but you also get some really nice acid from the, um, the kumquats, which are, is actually a pretty tart citric fruit. Um, and a little bit of the pineapple too. And I like to think that the nose is like, it's neither, it ends up being like almost like neither pineapple nor kumquat. It's like almost like, um, like a fruit kind of punch or fruit salad -y quality. Yeah, no, neither fruit is real, uh, real powerful. Overly dominant. And, um, it's a fun ride on the tongue because it, it's got a little bit of tart punch right at the beginning and then smooths smooth out. Smooths out, that's yeah. right, yeah, exactly. Is there a fruit that has not been made in beer yet? Uh, let me no. think. Pomegranates. Uh, Every literally, <laughs> I think I honestly think that somebody has it's a used, good thing. Has used some fruit. Yeah, totally. And what we're finding, it's crazy. So, like a blue jacket, we've been brewing with lots and lots of fruit. We stick with, um, you know, local uh, fresh fruit. So we're very seasonal um, when we're when we're using them. Although we have done some beers with, uh, we've done a kumquat goes and things like that. But we use whole fruit. And it's fascinating how different each fruit um, reacts when you use it. Uh, some fruits you can use, you know, like peaches, for instance, are so delicate. You've got to use so many more peaches than you would kumquats to get a bigger fruit flavor. Um, and then some fruits just sneak up on you. I mean, we, we made a beer called Judge Ruby at Blue Jacket with um, black raspberries this year that we only put like maybe 400 pounds in. Um, whereas with a peach beer, we would do 900 pounds, put 400 pounds, and it turned this beer purple in color. I mean, totally crazy. So uh, it's fun to see all the, uh, the adventurous experimentation going on. Have craft brewers with, with using fruit in beer, has it gotten more subtle, the taste? I mean, you, you learn more about how to do it because I always used to say I don't, I don't like fruit in beer. But right. Because like I've, I've had some blueberry beers, it's just to blueberry, right. uh, this is, it's, I, I don't think you'd know if someone hadn't told you what was in it. Yeah, and so that's a great point. This, and this is just so everybody knows, like this is definitely a Berliner Weiss first and foremost mm -hmm. with some echoes of fruit. But it's the, and, and I think, and so I think this actually suits your palate from, you know, what I know about your palate. This suits it better because it doesn't just taste like fizzy pineapple juice, right? It's a beer first and foremost with some fruit. And I think that that's what most breweries are going for. But again, it depends on the fruit. The conundrum, though, is you call this pineapple kumquat Berliner Weiss. There are people out there that love sour beers and love like Berliner Weiss that are going to absolutely love this beer and appreciate the, the, the steady, restrained hand uh, that seasoned it. But then there's other people who are all about the fruit forward, and they might be disappointed by the lack of fruit here. So it's kind of a, it's an interesting divide for what people are looking for um, from fruited beers. Now you, uh, it, there wasn't very much good beer at Greg's wedding, you know, it's, you know, <laughs> that's totally untrue. It was dry. You had a special, uh, blue, you, you made a special wedding beer at, at Blue Jacket, and it was a nice low octane beer, like about this, I think it was 4.2? It was 4% yes, four, right? 4 right, right on the yeah, dot, oh, 4, yeah. 4, four oh. okay. That was real nice too. And that was, and that, and it's fun. so interestingly, we made that with peaches and nectarines, um, very similar kind of flavors there. And, and what was fascinating about that is like, they were, they're so delicate that we 
we just we soaked so much fruit into this beer, and yet I think you'd agree that it still was a, a tart, refreshing blonde ale first, yeah. and had just kind of some fruited essence, but not overwhelming. Then we hit the slightly stronger stuff. Uh, yeah, <laughs> shortly great. thereafter. Yes. What uh, would you pair this with? So. I love, uh, I've been thinking a, a lot about, um, you know, kind of classic pairings and then some f more, maybe a little bit more experimental. Um, citrus fruits and stuff that's kind of low alcohol with some acid is always going to be great with raw fish. So like um, kumquat, orange, and tuna, wonderful together. You could do that raw. Um, also like fried fish, you got like fried catfish. Um, citrus is great with rosemary. So if you wanted to hit up like just like classic roasted chicken with rosemary, some potatoes on the side. Believe it or not, this is gonna be excellent with that. Um, and then, uh, thinking of the pineapple, thinking of like Hawaiian pizzas, but I'm thinking of like a grilled ham and cheese sandwich would be really cool with this. Panini's, panini's panini, yeah, anything, like a yeah. pressed sandwich would be fantastic. And then, this is a cool thing, even if you don't do it with the beer, pineapple and blue cheese are an amazing pairing together. Um, it sounds kind of strange, but it's really cool. They both actually have a, um, a flavor um, component called methylhexoinate, which is a kind of a fruity note that blends perfectly. So if you got like an arugula salad or a mixed green salad, some crumbled blue cheese, maybe some walnuts, that would actually be great with this as well. These guys at Perennial, they just keep knocking it out of the uh, park. They're, they're amazing. If you get to St. Louis, uh, check them out. Try it out, absolutely. Greg, thank you as always. Thank you. Everyone, please always do drink responsibly and be sure to bring your thirst next time for another beer of the week.